Hi, this is Mel, or one of the stars. This is my bodysuit tutorial part three. I'm going to discuss construction and other techniques you need to know to make your bodysuit look awesome. Now that your bodysuit is put together, you have designs, you have piping, you have all these different things that you need to put on the bodysuit. How do I do this? This is and also another really complexing part. Um, for if you want to paint designs, you can go ahead and do it. Um, a lot of people ask me what I used for Nia. This is what I used for Nia. It's just a tulip matte soft fabric paint. I got a big, it's crimson red is the color. Um, once I sewed the bodysuit, I just laid it flat and I painted the design on with freehand. Um, I did put the bodysuit on and get some chalk and kind of chalk out my designs while it was on me so I knew where to paint. For the rest of it, I just painted it freehand and flat. The great thing with fabric paint is that since fabric paint is stretchy, so when you put it on, it's going to stretch to you. So, and two that makes lots of different colors. You can mix them, etc., to get the color that you need. Another technique is applique. Applique is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more time consuming, but the results are really nice. Um, again, I'm referencing Somber because Somber has like all these examples. So, this is an applique. It's just sewn directly to the bodysuit. It's not sewn into, if it's, it's not inlaid is what I'm trying to say. So it's, as you can see, it's just sewn directly. You can see the stitch lines on uh, where it was put on. You can do on top like this, or you can do it from behind. Hold on. Or you can do it from behind where the black is behind my white and then I stitch. It's another, it's like kind of like a reverse applique, I guess you can say. So those are two different ways to do that. Um, how I did this is I, from the pattern, I went ahead and cut out, I drew the designs, cut out the pattern, and I cut out the appropriate pieces, added my seam allowances to the black. The white, I did not add on a seam allowance because if I did, then there's no point because I'm not doing it. But I want the black to over, overlap on the inside just a bit. And then you're going to want to use this stuff. It's Fuse and Tear Away. Uh, what it is, this is what it looks like out of the package. It's just a fusible interfacing. Um, it has one side that irons onto your fabric, and the other side is just like paper. And go ahead and iron it on. You want to iron on. So, what you'll do, so say I want to put this back on, you'll take it and iron it over this and it will help hold your design to your fabric without having to pin it or glue it or whatever so that way you're, it's full stretch and you don't have to worry about it. Do this on and then you can go ahead and take it put it right underneath your machine and you can sew right through it. The great thing about this is even though it irons on, you can pull it off and it doesn't leave any residue. So go ahead when you're done sewing your whole entire design onto the, your bodysuit this tears away and you can pull it off and it was like it was never there. And that's the easy way to do it. And you can do it the same exact way that you do the black or if you want to do the inside like I did down here on the legs. Um, you can flip it over, you can turn it inside out, whatever you find the easiest way. Go ahead and iron it on and then ta-da. Um, just be aware of your temperature and your iron because sometimes if you touch the iron to spandex like I learned the hard way, it will melt. So that's an important thing when you're using this stuff. Um, for piping, I did metallic spandex on Songbird. The great thing about this is I didn't actually put any pipe in it per se. All it is is just a piece of metallic spandex folded over. Um, Ace. Piping. So. Like I discussed earlier, I used a lot of piping, obviously, in Songbird. All it is is a metallic spandex. I cut a piece, um, I believe it was about an inch and a quarter wide, maybe an inch. It depends on how much you want sticking out from here and how big your seam allowance is. So go ahead, when you do that math, go ahead and cut out big strips of that. And then what I did is I took some just super 77 spray adhesive, sprayed the inside, and folded it over and then I stuck it in there when I sewed. Um, you can sew it down to one side first and then sew the other side, whatever is easiest for you. I did it all in one go. So for like the collar here, I put it in there, sandwiched the piping, 
and then sewed. You can see it's in there and sewed it all in one go. So whatever works easiest for you. And that's how the piping loom was made for all of this. So there's not actually any cording or piping in there um, that is used for traditional piping. Um, that's just because it's stretch and you want to make sure it moves and stretches with your body. All right, so now you have all your so now you have all your bodysuits done. You have your appliques, your piping, your designs, whatever it is that you want on your bodysuit is done. So now you want to know, sorry, our neighbors have a lot of dogs. Um, you want to know how to finish it. Um, if you're putting sleeves in, fantastic. You can just fold it over. Cheap, easiest way is just to fold it over, put a zigzag around. Um, here, usually collars. Collars kind of finish it off itself. But if you have like open armholes here, or if you have um, like on Huntress, where did I put Huntress? I put Huntress for this, kind of thing, and then that other thing. But if you're doing like a bodysuit like this, where there's open holes on the armses and on the legses, you're gonna want to have a little bit more reinforced stretch, so you wanna put elastic in there. And the best way to do elastic, I have found, this is with a serger. You can do it without a serger, but if you have a serger, um, go ahead and take your elastic. Um, you can't see it on here. Maybe you can see it on Cassandra. So these are Cassandra's bottoms. So go ahead and I surged the elastic to the edge. And don't pull the elastic because then it makes it too taut. Just leave it flat. Don't pull your fabric, don't pull your elastic, just let it surge right on there. So you surge the elastic in and then I just folded it over and zigzag stitched. And that's how I finish the edges to the bottoms of this. And the same thing with the armhole, oops, that's not an armhole, that's a leg hole. How I finish the whole armholes for this. You can kind of see the elastic and the zigzag stitch I did there. And same thing with the leg holes down here. So that's how a good way to finish off. Um, what type of elastic? I generally use about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. Anything bigger than that is way too big. So a um, quarter of an inch is generally about a good size to go with. So um, that's kind of it. That's all I have for information about bodysuits. I think I covered pretty much everything that you need to know. Of course, if there was questions that came up by watching this or you have other questions that I did not answer, feel free to message me on my Facebook, on my email, which is admin at winoftestars.com. I'm also at Facebook at facebook.com slash cosplay. Um, you can also reach me on DeviantR, Coscom, ACP, all these different places. I'm always one of the stars on any social network. And you can reach me on any of these resources. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I hope you guys like it. Thanks, guys.